Oh yeah, we're back again today to dive into yet another killer tool that's gonna grow and change your photography business for the better. Only this time, it's an all-in-one photography companion app for your phone, which means it fits right in your pocket. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jackie Portalise. This is Ronan. I'm a reviewer for ShotKit and I mostly talk about photography-related software, um, everything from like AI photo editing and culling tools to client management systems. But today's unscripted app review is extra special because this is the first time I've ever reviewed a photography mobile app and I'm absolutely blown away. I think it's probably gonna be the coolest app that I ever review um, because for the first time in my 14-year career, I'm actually kind of considering doing away with my old person method of client management on Google Drive and switching over fully mobile just so I can have this like sense of security always in my pocket. Uh, this is an unscripted review, which like the review is kind of scripted to be fair, but I mean, it's a review for an app called unscripted. Okay, so there's a lot of photography apps, both mobile and desktop that claim to be all in one, but unscripted is literally all in one. I mean, it's got posing guides. It's got this like incredibly robust client management system. It's got education resources and countless templates for emails and questionnaires and client guides and fully integrated booking request. I'm literally running out of breath here. It's got gallery hosting and so much more and it's in your pocket, which means you can literally take it everywhere you go. And that to me is just like super bonkers. What I super love and appreciate is that the folks at Unscripted aim to take away all of that insecurity and awkwardness and feelings of, you know, like disorganization that us photographers tend to get, especially in the early stages of our career. If you've ever dealt with imposter syndrome, you know exactly what I mean. I just love Unscripted. They're geniuses for coming up with this app that can help us through that. So already, as you can see from the dashboard, there's a lot going on here. Um, we have a bunch of little quick links at the top here and it's fully customizable so we can make sure that we only see the functions that we actually wanna use in this app. If we continue scrolling on the app's homepage, we'll see that there's tons of options to browse poses and prompts, a list of our upcoming shoots, education resources, and even a sun tracker, which is so nifty. Another really cool thing is Unscripted actually has a like a gallery hosting service, kind of like, you know, Pixie Set and PicTime or whatever. Um, and you can use that through their desktop app. We'll get into that a little bit later. But if you have any client galleries uploaded with them, they will appear right down here. All right, now we're gonna get into what each of these functions do. Um, first, I'm gonna talk about the posing and prompt component of Unscripted. I think, that, I think this tool is so freaking cool, you guys. And I honestly wish it was something I had when I was new to wedding photography. If you're the kind of person who saves a bunch of poses on like Instagram or Pinterest, uh, so you can like refer to them later or you try to like keep them in your memory or I know that some people even like will put photos on their cameras so they can like reference poses. This is definitely something for you. So what I love about Unscripted's posing guide is not only is there posing inspiration, but there's actual prompts with each one too. And this is great because it caters to photographers who perform more of a structured method of posing where they can show their clients what to do, but it's also a great resource for photographers who prefer to work more candidly like me. There's so many awesome poses to choose from in this posing guide area, and they're all categorized by like shoot type and positioning. So for example, if I'm like say on an engagement shoot and I'm looking for a couple's pose where they're sitting down, I can just select sitting right here and it shows me a ton of different options. Um, and then if I don't know really how to like help my couple get into that position, there's gonna be a prompt suggestion with each pose um, to help me kind of like know what to say to get them into that pose. We can also browse poses by prompt, um, which is the, gonna be the same content as the poses, only the thumbnail in the app appears as the prompt. Um, if you don't know what a prompt is, it's basically things that we can say to our clients that help them get moving so we can get um, those in-between moments in a more raw and candid way, like hold hands and look at each other. And the prompts are also categorized by into moods. So we have fun prompts that will evoke laughter. We've got calm prompts for editorial vibes. And we also have romantic ones for all your mushy gushy needs. Oh my gosh, some of these are just so cute. So just from like kind of scrolling around, you can see that there's thousands of options for each category and everything is crowdsourced from photographers just like you, which means you can add to Unscripted as well. Um, however, it also means you may encounter some similar or duplicate poses and prompts. And a workaround I recommend is kind of culling through before your shoot and adding some to a favorites list. You can also add them to a specific photo shoot from your client management system, but more on that later. 
Oh my gosh, we haven't even really scratched the surface yet. There's so much more to talk about because Unscripted also has an entire client management system built in and even more. So this next bit is gonna be on the client management side, which I will now refer to as CMS for the sake of saving my breath. Uh, and it is awesome. Unscripted also offers a photo shoot request and booking function, and we can view any shoot that we have scheduled in the list view here or view the calendar as a whole. So if we tap on a shoot, we will be redirected to a window where all the information we have on the client can be found and everything from contracts to invoices to questionnaire templates and when the sunset will take place based on the time and location of their shoot can also be found in here. So within Scripted, we can stay even more mega organized by creating new shoots and giving them titles like X and Y's wedding. And then we can organize that by selecting a session type. And then we can establish a date so it goes right onto our little calendar in the app. And then we can also add locations and individual client information to each shoot, which is gonna come in real big handy later when we talk about invoices, because yes, there's invoices as well in this app. Okay, another really, really cool feature that Unscripted has is it's got this like fully integrated booking request form, which you can modify to kind of fit your needs. And then all you have to do is copy this link and you can paste it in your Instagram. You can put it on your link tree if you use one of those. Um, you can even put it on your website. Um, I think there's a way that you can make automated responses in your DMs and you can just throw it in there and people can receive it when they hit you up in a DM and then they can fill out your booking request form. And then when they make that booking request, it's gonna send us a push notification and it's gonna send us an email and it will just populate in the booking request section of the app. So they're all gonna be right in here. If we hit accept on one of these booking requests, it's gonna take us to an area where we can write a custom message back to the client or we can choose from one of Unscripted's bajillion amazingly well-written email templates like Holy cow, there are so many email templates in here. I can't even, it's, it deserves its own part of this review, which we'll get to. Um, but let's just say Unscripted really does it all for you. And if we continue scrolling, we also have some tools like personal checklists to keep ourselves organized and a place where we can enter their day of timeline. We can also toggle whether or not we'd like to receive push notifications for each event of the day. I mean, how cool is that? Like now I'm never gonna have to worry about not realizing it's time for toast as I'm like shoveling buffet food in some remote broom closet because my phone's just gonna give me a notification when it's time. We can also send our clients emails or arrange to have like automated emails at certain times throughout the booking process. So it's like, if I wanna say like, hey, don't forget to like fill out this questionnaire on this date, we can just kind of arrange to send that at a specific time. Um, and then there's obviously a ton of templates to choose from, like I said, or we can just create our own if we wanna say something like really specific. And finally, we have a built-in sun tracker, people. This feature is so simple yet so stinking cool. Uh, it's one that I would have to Google the information for before a shoot and then just take note of like elsewhere. But Unscripted just is automatically gonna populate our weather forecast and track the sun based on the date and the location that we established for the shoot. Thank you, Unscripted. If we just keep on scrolling, you can see that there is an area for notes. Um, now, whatever your client said in an initial booking request, if they if they booked you through that, it will populate here in the notes section. Um, you can also just add your own notes. And then there's also a section for goals, which is really cool. So if there's like a specific thing that they want, like, um, like we would really like a drone photo of this thing, you can kind of add it here as like a personal reminder to yourself. Uh, we can also track our clients' payments. This is gonna be directly connected to the invoice. So if they've paid their retainer or if they've paid their balance, it'll let you know. Um, there's also this really cool little like photo shoot history. It's sort of like a checklist gone timeline. So it's gonna say like, oh, does the, have, you, have you sent the questionnaire? Has the contract been sent and signed? And then you can kind of keep track of all the things that they have done. Um, it's just, it's really nice. It just helps us stay organized and lets us know what's missing, what needs to happen and blah, 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 blah. There's even an option here to delete a shoot. So in the event that a shoot is canceled and or we no longer want it to appear in our photo shoot dashboard, we can just simply delete the photo shoot here. This final little section here is called my biz. Um, it's really cool because it kind of shows like all of our business information. So how many upcoming shoots we have, how many contracts, need to be signed still, our projected earnings and all that stuff. And we can also um, use all these little shortcuts here to access like our email templates and our shoots and clients. It's kind of like your one-stop shop for all of your stuff. 
And one of the coolest things is that if you're more of like a spreadsheet person like I am, you can hit this top right button here and it will automatically send you a .csv file to your email so you can put it in a Google Sheet or Excel or whatever you wanna do. I think I've said this is my favorite thing like so many times by now, but this is definitely one of my favorite things. They have all these incredibly well-written questionnaires and email templates that we can send or you know, we can just send them as is or we can modify them and we can even make our own templates. So if we want to write something really specific, we can add that in here for future use. I think what I love most about Unscripted's email templates and stuff is that they're all very human sounding and each of these read like they were truly written by a bubbly wedding photographer, not a robot. There's literally an email template for like everything. And Unscripted is so helpful in helping us find the words, even for some like really awkward conversations. Like there's even email templates in here for declining requests for raw photos. And uh, they even have these like really personal and like non-salesy ways of promoting offers to past clients, which I could use all the help I can get there. There's also um, a bunch of quick links down here so we can make changes to our business profile uh, or we can send invoices from this area and we can also modify the booking form that attaches directly to our photo shoot requests. So speaking of the, the booking form, this is where we can go and make some general changes to that form. So when we're all done in here and we've completed our booking form, we can just take this link and then add it to our Instagram profile. We can put it on our website. We can add it to our link tree if you use a uh, link tree on Instagram or something like that. And then when a client fills out that form, we will get a push notification to our phones and it will go straight into our booking request area in our Unscripted app. If a client attempts to book a shoot on a day and time that we're already booked, it's gonna let them know that we're unavailable right when they try to fill out that form. And then if we are available, we can access the request through shoots, accept the request, and write an email response or select a template to send them. And then once the shoot has been accepted, it will appear in our shoots with the rest of them where we can modify stuff, send invoices, add notes, and all that stuff. So I wanna now go back to the main, main, main homepage dashboard because I wanna talk about those education and resources that we saw earlier. There is such an ungodly amount of stuff in here and it's just so cool. They've got everything from like how-to videos, they've got editable Canva templates for everything from like wedding guides that are ready to send to your clients, what to wear that you can edit and modify. They've got Instagram carousel templates that you can plug in your photos and use them on Instagram. They've got guides for like choosing locations and they've got all these podcasts that you can also listen to. And they just have a ton of videos and, and resources in here. And I think investing in your education is such an important part of growing your photography business. And you can really invest a lot of money in different stuff. But with Unscripted, it's just all right in here and you have so much stuff to look at. If you're not 100% into using phones all the time, don't worry, there's also a desktop companion as well. So you can also check out your contracts, your invoices, your questionnaires. You can see all of your client information right on their website as well. And in addition, which we also really love, is you can upload and deliver full client galleries. And like I said, it's gonna be at the very bottom of your app on the home page, you can just see all of your galleries right here. Normally there's a part of my reviews where I talk about price compared to competitors, etc. However, there just really isn't another app or anything out there that quite offers what Unscripted does just yet. So I took the liberty of researching what each individual feature might cost and I'm just gonna calculate it for you live. And these are all gonna be like the low average, by the way, like I'm being really generous here. So if we consider how much a fully integrated client management system costs with online gallery hosting, the average comes out to about $55 a month or $600 annually. Posing and prompt guides, they seem to be anywhere from like free from some like meh, whatever ones on Pinterest to like $100 from a professional educator. So we're gonna do like a, like a generous $40 average. We saw earlier that uh, they had some Canva templates that we could edit for like Instagram carousels and stories and stuff. And I would say that like if you bought those from somewhere else, those templates probably go for around like twenty to forty dollars a pack. It looks like so we're just gonna say like twenty bucks. We'll just say we'll just say they're worth twenty bucks. Just kind of like looking through Etsy and and Pinterest and all that stuff. It seems that any editable client guides to like what to wear and like you know, all of that stuff, it seemed to come around like $50 each per template. And then wedding questionnaires seemed to be about $25. Educational 
videos. Okay, so I've seen some professionally created educational videos priced anywhere from like seven hundred to a thousand dollars for like a series of them, right? So if like a like a professional photography educator, that's how much you can expect to pay for a series like that. Um, in terms of like smaller videos for more simple things like how to photograph in sun or how to make you know like double exposures or whatever. I feel like those go for around like $100 to $200. So we're just going to say that for one single video, it averages about 150 bucks. So let's also keep in mind that Unscripted has a ton of in-depth educational videos. And we're kind of calculating this as though we're only purchasing one from someone per year. You may be wondering why I haven't mentioned the templates or the contracts, like the email templates and the, the contract templates and all that yet. Um, and the reason I left those out is because a lot of client management systems actually offer that. However, I will say that Unscripted has significantly more than any CMS I've ever seen. So, um, but just for the sake of being realistic and not pushing this too hard, we're just gonna leave that out of the calculation. Okay, y'all got any guesses at how much Unscripted costs each year? Because spoiler alert, it ain't nowhere near that. About $160 per year at the time that this video was recorded. Come on, slam and deal, slam and deal. Jeez, guys, I remember when I was new to wedding photography and I couldn't for the life of me like remember poses when I was there because I was like so nervous working with my first couples and it was just so painfully awkward and I just really wish that I had unscripted at the time, just so I could have just come off a little more confident. I think this app is gonna be so awesome, especially for new photographers who are like newer to the world of posing people and often find themselves stumped on shoots and unsure what to do. I mean, there's not just poses for couples here, there's poses for newborns and families and it's got everything that you need. You don't even have to be a wedding photographer. One of the most valuable things to me when I was new to wedding photography and just photography in general was learning from my peers. And I would not be half the photographer I am today if it weren't for the wedding photography Reddit and all the Facebook communities that I was in. And Unscripted very much is a community in and of itself. Like all those poses and prompts are from real photographers just like you and me. I just, I love this app so much. It's literally like my own photography business assistant that I can literally just take with me everywhere I go. And rather than having all these little resources in like a million different places, it's just all right here in this little guy. I'm always looking at like 10 million different places for everything. I've got poses on Instagram. I got poses saved on Pinterest. I've got Google Docs that tell me how much I am projected to make this year. There's so much stuff in different areas. I love that it's all just in one app now. I feel like when I've done some research on Unscripted in the past, people always talk about the fact that it's a posing app. It's not just a posing app. This app is for all types of photographers, new ones, ones that have been in business for 15 years. It's for family photographers, newborn photographers. It's a full business assistant for everything that you could ever possibly need. And hopefully this walkthrough was able to kind of give you an idea of whether or not this is the right app for you. I think it might be the right app for me, you guys. Like, I love it so much. Um, if you have any questions or comments, or if you've used it and you've had good experiences, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. All the people watching this video want to hear your unbiased opinions as well as mine. So do not hesitate to get a conversation going. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope I see you next time I talk about a really cool tool because there will definitely be more tools. Goodbye.